my gosh, look how cute you guys are. Oh my God, look at this, look at this adorableness. Oh my God, it's adorable. This is... Aiden, Aiden, look at that, Aiden. Look at that, boy, you're so amazing. You're so amazing. <laughs> you're so cute, you're so cute, darling. <laughs> That's my fam, family. <laughs> they cute, they cute. Hey, there's Vi Vivian. I gave her this little pirate outfit and doesn't she look fabulous? And she put it on all by herself because she is, uh, like, I think she's a genius too. He's a genius? Yes. He's a genius. And Vivian's a genius. Can you say, arr? Say, arr. Arr, say, go, go, arr. God, I have the cutest grandkids. I don't I have a gorgeous daughter too? She looks freaking gorgeous. <laughs> Wendy, you have won the child lottery. <laughs> she won the baby lottery. Do you know how difficult my kids were? <laughs> okay, well, when you're ready, we're going to talk, all right? <laughs> Vivian put on all this stuff I got her. Look, she's got some really sparkly boots. And she's, she's good to go. Look at this little pirate. <laughs> How's it going, Aiden? How do you spell his name? A-I-D-A-N. A-I-D-A-N. Can you spell Aiden? A, say A, I, D, A, N. Tell me about the whole birthing thing. How'd that go? Uh, which one? This one hours, Aiden. less than 10 hours. Wow. Yeah. But you didn't even have difficult bur bursts that much, huh? Not really. No, Vivi was hard. Was she? She was like super hard because they induced me early with both of them. Yeah. And with her, my body didn't really know what to do. So like we were doing balloons, we had to do medicine in there. Like we did IV medicine. It was awful. And I was like anti um, epidural. Yeah. So I went until 16 hours in, and it was like torture. It got to the point where like I couldn't walk, I couldn't sit, I couldn't lay. I couldn't do anything. I was just in so much pain the whole time. Dang. It was just awful. And then finally, I was, like, they convinced me to do it. And they had to hold me down to give me my epidural. Like, literally, the nurse was like, she had her hands across my back and she was holding me. And I was like, I can't stay. I can't stay. I can't stay. I can't stay. I was just screaming. Wow. And finally, they got my epidural and I was out, like, in five minutes. Yeah. I was so exhausted. See, I had, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> I had, let's see, Jimmy came first and then Patrick was done, uh, uh, birthed at home or hatched or spawned or something. Um, so it's, so I had him completely natural. And then whenever um, I had uh, Aaron, I really wanted an epidural because the fucking pain hurts so bad. Right? So, but the doctor wouldn't give me an epidural because she said that I was too far, far, too far along. I was about to give birth. And I'm like, I got through my whole pregnancy thinking I was going to get an epidural. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of made me feel better because I was, after having like the most, burping a watermelon twice, I was fucking scared of the pain of childbirth. Man, like I went into her thinking I'm absolutely against an epidural and as soon as I checked in for my induction with him, I was like, can I get an epidural now? But, but, like, yeah, it, now? but it doesn't cross the barrier. I think it doesn't affect the, the epidural itself only numbs your spine. No, it doesn't. And I didn't know until halfway through my right. birth with him yeah. that it was fentanyl. Oh. So just, yeah, it was literally fentanyl. They had my, my epidural bag in a lockbox. Right? Oh, yeah? And I was like, why is it in a lockbox? And they were Dang. like, you didn't think that, like, aspirin made you feel that good, right? And I was huh. like, literally, the second that the epidural kicked in, I went from crying to laughing hysterically <laughs> I was just laying there, and the nurse came in, and Curtis was like, and she's like, well, what's funny? Did I miss the joke? And I just, I couldn't even talk. I was laughing so hard. Oh, my gosh. And Curtis was like, she's laughing about absolutely nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing. Nobody said anything in 10 minutes. She was just laughing for no Wow. She was like, okay, well, the epidural kicked in. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but then, like, halfway through my 
<laughs> it came out. I had two epidurals with him. Because like it came out and it was like spewing fentanyl all over my bed. Oh my gosh. And they had to put it in twice. It was awful. That was like that time it, and it happened at ship change. So there was no anesthesiologist there to put it back in. So I was just laying there like, Are you fucking kidding me? You have to stab me in my spine two times in one day? Like are you serious? Yeah. It all worked out for the better. I didn't even feel either one of them. I never told You didn't even feel either friend. one of them? Oh my gosh. Of that, right? I did all that. I really did. <laughs> I would, oh my gosh, I wrote so bad on, like, with Patrick, I did. Well, with her, I had four stitches, mm -hmm. but, like, it didn't tear me, it, like, it tore my labia a little bit. Right. So, like, that was literally it. Yeah. Like, yeah. It wasn't that, it wasn't everything that I thought it was going to be, but that was probably because I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember your mom telling me about childbirth. She told me about having babies, and I was like, um, yeah, so she was saying, because your mom, I think she was a natural birther, too. She, I mean, like, natural meaning, like, it wasn't agony for her. It wasn't horrible. Right. But then I, and I remember asking her, um, but, but was it the worst pain you ever felt? And she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was a little scared. I've always been scared of pain and not much into it and stuff. Do you so, want to take that one off? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this book, okay? Because I gotta, because I do like the book. <laughs> so, and here, um, oh, I'll go ahead and turn this off now. Yeah, and yeah. Is my genius grandson? Look at that. He can hold the bottle all by himself. He's so amazing. Seriously, have you ever seen a cuter baby than that? <laughs> ah. You're so cute, Aiden. All right, and I got toys for you. You can get to check them out whenever you're ready. You know, I'm not going to force you. <laughs> All right.